Hello friends and welcome to Techie Jack. In this video series, we will start learning about Microsoft Azure administration. So before starting the journey with the course, it is important to know what you must know before learning Azure. So let's see what are the prerequisites of Azure administration. You should be aware of on-premises virtualization, including virtual networking and VM hard disks. You must also know about the TCP IP and good knowledge of DNS, virtual private network, firewall and encryption technologies. Also you should have a good understanding of Active Directory concepts like user groups and role based access control. And understanding of site resilience and disaster recovery along with the backup and restore. So let us also check what are the modules you will see in the Azure administration course. The module one is identity. Basically in this module you are going to learn like about how to create Azure users and groups in Azure Active Directory and how you can manage users and group in Azure Active Directory. And the next one is governance and compliance. In this module you will be learning about the analyzing costs and creation of budget with the Azure cost management and you can predict the cost and optimize the spending of your Azure system. And the third one is Azure administration. In this module you will learn the core cloud services like how you can manage services with the Azure portal and how you can control and organize your Azure resources with the Azure resource manager and how you can automate Azure task with script and PowerShell. And the fourth module is virtual networking. Here you will come to know about the networking fundamentals and you can design an IP addressing schema for your Azure deployment. You can host your domain on Azure DNS as well. And the fifth one is inter-site connectivity. In this module you will learn how you can connect your on-premises network to Azure with VPN gateway or with the Microsoft global network by using the express route. And the sixth one is network traffic management. In this module you will learn how you can manage and control traffic flow in your Azure deployment with the routes and how you can use the load balancers with your web service traffic with application gateway. And the seventh one is Azure storage. In this module you will learn about how you can create a Azure storage account, how you can secure your Azure storage, how you can uh, provide a disaster recovery by replicating your storage across region and failing over the second location or you can monitor, diagnose and troubleshoot your Azure storage. And the eighth one is Azure Virtual Machines. In this module you will learn like how you can deploy Azure Virtual Machine from VHD templates, add and size disk in Azure Virtual Machine, how you can protect your virtual machine setting with Azure Automation and how you can connect to virtual machine through the Azure portal. And the ninth module will be Serverless Computing. In this module you will learn how you can host a, uh, your web application with Azure App Services, how you can run Docker containers with Azure Container Instances and you will come to know about the introduction to the Azure Kubernetes Services as well, Data Protection. With this module uh, as a name uh, says uh, you can protect your virtual machine by using Azure Backup and you can do a backup and restore with the Azure SQL database and also you can protect your Azure infrastructure with Azure site recovery as well. And the 11th module will be our monitoring. In this module uh, you can analyze your Azure infrastructure by using Azure monitor log. You can improve your incidents response with the alerting on the Azure. You can design a holistic monitoring strategy on your Azure. Along with this, let's also see what are the certification options we have in the Microsoft Azure administration. We have an exam 900 that is Azure Fundamental. It is designed for candidates looking for the demonstrate foundational level knowledge of cloud services and how those services are provided. The second one is Microsoft Certified Azure Administration Associate. This course is designed for Azure administrators who implement, monitor and maintain compute storage network and security in Azure system. And the third one is Microsoft Certified Azure Solution Architect Expert. 
This course is designed for Azure Solutions architect who create solution for compute, network storage and security. So guys, that's it for this video and we will meet in our next video and start our journey with the Microsoft Azure administration. So friends, if you found the video informative, do subscribe the channel and also check out some other video links on the screen.